back to Chef It Up, everyone. The show that gets you entertained, educated, but of course, fed. I'm Anthea Smith, your host. And in my kitchen again bang, is bang. Chef Joel. Was it Joel or Joel last time? We said Joel last time, so we'll go with Joel this time. Joel, changing your name. <laughs> Joel Johnson. <laughs> and what are we whipping up? Our pots are already going, you guys. I know you can see some steam and some bubbles already going. Mm -hmm. Why have we already started making our dish? All right. And what are we making? Today we're making... Uh, Grouper, filet grouper, right? I'm putting some Cajun spice in it just for a little bit of flavors. You don't need too much stuff with it. And with it will be some assorted veg. I'll get back to that later. Okay. And also with that, we're going, we're doing a niçoise salad. Niçoise salad. Niçoise salad. That's spelled how it sounds. No. I that. Yeah. It's a French salad. And you know, how I'm doing it, realistically, I'm not doing it the classical way. I'm okay. doing it the um, uh, my traditional way, actually. So now, tell us a little bit more about this niçoise salad. It sounds niçoise salad, kind it, of... It could be served, it's a French dish, like I said before, right? And it could uh -huh. be served with or without a lettuce, to okay. be honest with you, and it normally serves with tuna. Okay, a right? salad served with or without yes, lettuce, and interesting. You, and you have olives, tomato, a lot of stuff is in it, eggs and whatnot. But right now, what I'm doing right now, I'm cutting up my roasted potatoes, I'm gonna okay. get these inside the oven first thing, because they're gonna take the longest. Okay. And with that, the eggs are gonna take long as well, so... Okay. So we're gonna boil down some eggs mm -hmm. here for our salad. Exactly. Now inside the water right now is just a little bit of salt. You want just you want the water a little bit salty to okay. help season the food. Yeah. So what made you uh, choose this dish today? Why? What's what makes this dish so special? It's an interesting dish to be honest. The niçoise salad, like um, it could be served with tuna, it could be served with the grouper I'm doing right now, but I'm not putting it on top of the fish. I'm, okay. You know, I'm putting it on the side. Okay. Um, it could be served with a lot of a lot of things actually, and it's just a everything kind of salad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just uh, how can I put this? You want to get creative? That's a creative salad. Yeah. And you guys know um, from previous episodes with Chef Joel, he likes to do healthy stuff. So it's no surprise yeah, that he's whipping yeah. up fish and salad here today, right? Of course. <laughs> I mean, with my whole ordeal, I like to, like I said, keep my proteins. Yeah. But at the same time, get rid of as much starch as possible. Mm -hmm. You don't want to eat too much starch. That's pretty much a problem right now. Yeah. A lot of people. A lot of starch, right? Yes, man, too much starch. You, have, you know, macaroni, potato salad, coleslaw, you know, it's too much of the same thing. And speaking of, with our roasted potatoes, mm. why have we decided to go with these ones? Are these the healthier roots? No, I, I like this honestly because it's, it's smaller and color, to be honest. Color is important. Color is food, important right? for people eat with their eyes. Yeah. I just put some salt in there, by the way. So, so yeah, our roasted know. potatoes, we got go in, you just chop those and have some salt. Well, to be black dashing in there. Pepper. Some black pepper. I'm gonna give it a little bit of uh, French kind of cuisine right now. What's I'm that? with a little bit of herbs. A little bit of herbs and spices. And oregano, you know, I like All right. Black. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now, in terms of seasoning stuff, mm -hmm. we tend to use a lot of the same seasonings for our meats, for our potatoes, for I mean, for a we, variety of things. So what's like the go-to seasoning for just about everything? We know it's salt and pepper, but after salt and pepper. pepper. I mean, well, if you're talking about this, if you're talking about our culture, the yeah. go-to thing is, um, it's called allspice, not allspice. Um. Season and salt. Like, season and salt. That's it's really seasonal, guys. Exactly. <laughs> but we pronounce it season seasoning and salt, salt. right? Um, <laughs> That right there, I mean, that's, that's the go-to thing for everybody. Everything tasting the same. What I like to go to, I just like to keep it simple with my salt and pepper. Yeah. And then I have my Cajun spices sometimes, because it's pretty much the same meat over and over. Yeah, yeah. Now, that's boiling. We got the potatoes in. Now, what I want to start now is my mise, my mise en place for the actual dish, the grouper dish. Okay, perfect. Right, so we got some broccoli, some carrots, mm -hmm. cauliflower, asparagus, and these are some peppers. I'm not going to blanch these. That's what this is for. Okay, so we're just going to blanch the vegetables yes. in here. Few, All right. And, some and tell peas. us what blanching is again. Blanching is just, you're trying to get the veg al, al dente. You just want to cook it, but not too much. You don't want to mush it. Okay. Perfect. That's I'll pretty much it. You know? white. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, blanching is just, you just want to have it inside the water for like maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Okay. You don't want it too done. And what does that do for the dish though? Or yeah, what does that it do just, for you, the you, dish? You're just pretty much cooking the veg and prepping it for what else you're going to do with mm -hmm. it. Like after I blanch this, I'm going to shock in some ice water or some cold water. So what kind of day, what kind of event, what kind of atmosphere would you suggest this meal oh, for? Oh, this is a perfect, perfect, perfect lunch dish. Okay. Because you know, you know, okay, I don't know if you've um, ever noticed around three o'clock after everybody finished eating, everybody's sleeping. The itis. The, the itis, yes, <laughs> exactly. Fatigue, like I like to call it. Yeah, Ethnic exactly. <laughs> that's, that's only because realistically what you had before was just too heavy. Yeah. It was really too heavy for your body. Yeah. With this type of with this type of dish, you can eat it, you wouldn't be full and lucky, you'll be satisfied. But I would say though, as someone who worked in the corporate world nine to five, it's sometimes kinda hard to find a good dish that you can grab, be easy 
healthy, eat it quickly, and it still be healthy. And so a lot of times mm -hmm. people just opt for you know fast Whatever foods you can have. or. I, I'm glad you brought it up though yeah. because um. So give us some options. What I'm doing right now, I'm a perfect option to be honest with you. I have a little um, lunch catering thing on the side where honestly where I cook food just like this. I'm what on, a plug! Exactly, <laughs> and and I deliver to you no matter where you are in Nassau uh -huh. to be honest. And um, I started last week. I saw you saw the menu, and this week is Cooper, but not just Cooper. Okay. I mean, I'm doing the same thing, but not just the yeah. And I'm doing a chicken alfredo. Okay. Remember, I said about the alfredo, not yeah, the, uh, the fettuccine. Exactly. So, no matter where you are, I know you guys saw um, Chef Jay going around. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the actual. So, business. you have your healthy lunches yes, thing going ma on. I have that going on. Right. And then, so, for people who may not be able to get to you or you're just too packed no. on a certain day, what are some good healthy lunch options that we can have? And I know, too, with that being said, that takes a lot of preparation. And a lot of people sometimes don't take time the night before to prepare their dishes, so, you know, to... A lot of people, you'd be surprised if people don't want to do that, actually. It's hard. They, it, it is hard. And I wouldn't Meal even try prepping is hard. It is very, very hard. It is time-consuming. It is expensive. It is a pain, to be honest. But, I mean, tell us how we can make that easier, I guess. To make it easier, honestly, if you like peanuts, you could go around with some peanuts. Okay. Um, I, I, what I used to do, I used to drink a bottle of water from the gas station. Uh -huh. And um, just... Drink that, that would be that for me. Yogurt, the Yopla yogurt, you can do that. Okay. You could always make a nice little sandwich in the morning if you could. But if you're really not that type of person, have a really big breakfast. Okay, I'm not really a breakfast person. You're gonna have to be one if you I, want to eat I healthy. Know. I know, I, I love breakfast foods when mm. I could get to it, but if I could go without it, I'll be like, oh, I'll just drink some water and go to lunch. That's <laughs> not so good, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> but what I just did right now, I guess you guys were watching me. I cut. Yeah, the, sorry, we, we got into talking about <laughs> lunching and meal prep. But yes. he just chopped up some broccoli, some cauliflower, some carrots, carrots and some asparagus. And some asparagus. Now, realistically, there's no special way I'm chopping this. That's why I didn't really go into the explanation of it. Yeah. It's just I want I don't want to say rough chop, but I want some edible bites. Yeah. That's what I'm going for right now. Now with these right now, these are some. These are peppers, but they're not as spicy. They're more on the sweet pepper side, like mm -hmm. mini sweet peppers. But they still have a kick to it. Right. And this would be great for the um, for the fish. All right, you guys. So our dish is going. Of course, we're making a grouper fillet mm -hmm. with a niçoise. Niçoise. Niçoise salad. salad. Our eggs are boiling down. Our water is boiling, so we can blanch off our veggies. And in this bowl, we have um, so like we said, some carrots, cauliflower, broccoli. Our roasted potatoes mm -hmm. are roasted. In the oven. Chopping up some peppers, you guys. This is Chef It Up. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is Chef It Up, everyone. Our kitchen is going up on a Tuesday. <laughs> Still in the, in the kitchen with Chef Joel Johnson. We're whipping up our grouper filet with a very exotic niçoise salad. Now, so what do we do now? We have the mise en place ready for our fish, which is perfect. We have it on the side there. So okay. once it's time to cook it, we just go right into it. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to set up our salad. Now our first step what we did is get our eggs on. Okay. We want it hard boiled. So you want your eggs hard, hard, hard. hard. Boiled, so yeah. how long do you know, I love hard boiled eggs and I just kind of go off of when I think they're done. They're usually mm -hmm. done. But how <laughs> long do we so let? The, the, not the normal time for a hard boiled egg, like completely hard boiled, would be 10 minutes. Okay. It's a normal time. For okay, perfect. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do right now, I'm going to cut up some asparagus, I'm going to cut up some radish, and I'm yeah. going to cut up some tomatoes. So I'm chopping up some of these yeah, little exactly. Just cut them straight in half. Straight tomatoes, tomatoes here. Our olives straight in half. We, we have, have some our, olives as well. Yes, ma'am. Some hair like a bear in the Tell corner Tell us the real name. Green beans. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Getting all fancy on us. <laughs> yes. So we have some cherry tomatoes, yes. some black olives, and some green beans. Yes. Now, before I go any further with that, I want to explain to everybody who's watching, um, even, though, even though I'm calling this a niçoise salad, it's not a traditional niçoise salad. Because I know a lot of you people think about, oh, so where's the tuna? Where's this? Where's that? So this is a popular salad then, so people would know, because I didn't people, know. A few people would know about it, who I guess, depending on um, um, the culture or where you like to eat, uh -huh. realistically. So why are we using black olives? As opposed to our traditional little the green ones, yeah. Nah, the the green ones to me, I think it's more it's just hard. To, to me, it's this is a Not weird good. taste. I don't like the taste. Perfect. All right. So what he did over here was he chopped up some, some radish and some asparagus. No, some spaghetti. radish and some cucumber. Cucumber. So we're gonna spaghetti. mix this all in. Yeah, later on. This though. is, I think. Our doctors would be proud of us oh, you're talking because very, this very is happy. very healthy. We are not using anything, any processed foods. We're not using anything mm -hmm. too fatty. This is all fresh is vegetables, herbs. Fresh. Exactly, exactly. So this is this is that, real yeah. nice and light. Oh, we're yes, going heavy on these on the oh, cucumber. Yes. Nice. I just need it. Now this is something we can put in the fridge and put on the side for later. 
All right, so you want me to there. put it in the fridge? Put it right in the fridge. So this, pretty, this is our salad? No, 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 oh, no, no, I was no, like, no, 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 no. No, realistically, you go into restaurants and it looks just like that. Really? It, exactly. But I'm putting the fish for me and then get the fish for me. I'm going to see All fish righty. So tell them what you're doing in the meantime. In the meantime, I'm just going to get my pan to a certain point. I'm going to get some olive oil in it. So when I'm finished seasoning the fish, I can just pop it right in. All right. Goopa. This Bahamian goopa. Goopa. Well, where do you get your fish from? Oh, I get my fish from, um, I call him my little brother, his name is Tracy. That, uh, he works with the seafood guys. And he, okay. sells, yeah, he sells shrimp, lobster, salmon, you know? And right now we're, it's just like, it, it seems kind of hard to get fish for some reason now. Really? I guess after the hurricane. Yeah, after the hurricane, oh, everybody's yeah, like, oh, yeah, I can't yeah. really get this, I can't get that. Yeah. So I just, you know, I gave him a call and he said, yes, like, bro, I need some goopa because I have goopa on the menu for this week as well. Okay. Like, do you have any goop at all? He said, yeah, I got some goop and so I think I'm just, tell me how much you need and I got you. So that's my plug right there. Is grouper the only fish you no. can use? No, 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 no. So I love me some salmon. Yeah, exactly. And I could eat salmon with salad remember, all day long. Remember I made that salmon salad. I remember. Yeah, exactly. I remember when we when I auditioned for this show. Yes. <laughs> he whipped up salmon. What was it? Like a salmon and it was a berry a, watermelon salad it, it was, or something? It was a salmon and watermelon salad. Yes, yeah, salmon and watermelon salad. Yeah, and was I was a, a happy camper. Yeah, that was one of my favorite. That's actually one yeah. of my favorite salads. Clearly, like, you made a good dish choice. Sure I ended up getting the job. <laughs> Stop cracking jokes. <laughs> but for real, it was a really good sound. Um, mm -hmm. I could eat salmon all day long. But of course, we're making a uh, group of hair today. So mm -hmm. he's just seasoning this down some salt, some pepper, a little, uh, bit, of yeah, Cajun, a little bit of Cajun dressing. Now, um, I know when you come down to season the fish, a lot of people like to rub it with salt. They want to put some goat pepper in it. They yeah, want to like go, go oh, into the yeah, slits. Go you know how Bahamians go. Mm -hmm. When you cut the fish, you got to go in there. With exactly. The yeah, but with me, I'm not really. No, I'm just going to lightly with the Cajun and yeah. then salt and pepper, and then that's done. That's it. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna let that steep in for a few seconds. Let uh -huh. me oil, see my oil getting hot really quickly. Alrighty, there's a little side. bit of uh, uh, olive, oil. olive oil inside yeah. our, at the bottom of the pan, just to kind of just to make sure get know. the fish a like, good, nice, crispy, golden. Exactly. I don't like burnt up food. No, you don't want that. No. So, so what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna just double check my roasted potatoes. See how far they are. Yes, yes. Don't Remember? forget the potatoes yeah, are in the, the oven, guys. So he's checking that for yeah, us. You see, they're getting some color a little bit. How much? How long should we let the potatoes roast? So just keep checking them periodically. Yeah, roasted well, potatoes can take. It depends on the size you cut them out, to be honest with you. But that could take about um, thirty minutes. About 30 25, minutes. 30 minutes. Okay. Realistically, you know. And I had a fly man at 400, so I'll cut that time down. To so the higher the temperature, the quicker, faster they cook? I or? wouldn't say that because the higher you put the temperature, the quicker the outside will cook and the inside ah, will still be raw. So you gotta be careful of that. Interesting. Okay. Very careful. So Learn now, something here on Chef exactly. It Up. <laughs> now my oil is nice. And All right. Oh, yeah. Nice, subtle sizzle. Mm -hmm. Remember I love I said the before. sound of that. That sounds absolutely amazing. Yeah. So, this is a perfect time to put it out too because at the same time, you know, it's starting to come together, sizzling, yeah. no bunch of smoke, everything plopping all over the place. And like our store, guys, just to let you know if you can see, is at just a little bit above high, like maybe medium high. Yeah, like a medium, medium high. high kinda. Yeah. So you don't want it to be too, too low, but also not too, too high. So our eggs going up here, we're gonna just let them sit yeah, for a minute, right? Sit. Yeah, because at the same time, the reason I'm not worrying about this is because the eggs are uh, hard boiled. Yeah. Even if you overcook them, I, can, I highly doubt you can burn boiled eggs. You gotta be really special. <laughs> For someone who can't cook? <laughs> I've heard about like you, you told me you said you had somebody burn water before. Just evaporated well, that, it all. That was true, yeah. That's a special question. So we have this doing, and this is perfect right now. Let it sit. Yeah. A medium. Now we're gonna get into our vinegar dress. Okay, so we're making salad. our own vinaigrette, you guys. Yes. yes all yes, right, yes. I'm excited about this. So what are we gonna be using now, here? Then, now what we have for our vinegar dressing right now, I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Uh -huh. Is our remember I told you the salad vinegar? Yes, we have some Salad vinegar? Yeah. Some What's the difference? Dijon we mustard. Can, we can't just use any old vinegar? No, there's a lot of taste inside of certain vinegars. Like red okay. red wine vinegar, sharp, um white a uh, white vinegar is it's not really yeah. not really for cooking at all. Like you I clean white. my bathroom with white vinegar. Exactly. So you wouldn't want to make a salad with it. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Now you got white wine vinegar would be would actually be a good mix for this. Okay, as well. so we're using a red and I mean, uh, like a red vinegar. Right? Pour the whole thing in? Pour. Yes. Because that's one cup. Yeah, pour it. So one cup of our red wine vinegar. Yes. And for those who are not sure, eight ounces is one cup. Eight ounces. So if you got a little right. measuring cup, whatever, you know, just put it in. Now, olive oil, we're gonna put it in the last. I'm okay, why do we minute. save the, the oil? Because we're gonna last. emultify it. Oh, I'm sure you I remember that word from science email. class. Ah. No, so I'm red wine in, vinegar, some... I'm gonna put like a, just like a half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Yeah. 
good a little more. Now this, I got a lot of people will be wondering this is very, it's gonna be kind of sharp. Okay. That's why I want to. I prefer vinegar, right? to use honey. Yeah, you prefer to use honey. But right now we're gonna use some sugar. And this okay. is a this just um dressing is a to taste kind of dressing. So you, you go it? and you taste it as you go. You, go? you taste it exactly. Okay. Da -da -da. So do I start whisking or? You can start whisking away right now. And you gotta get you gotta get really really well good. Mmm. Right. All right. So we just whisking this all together. Yeah, and I'm gonna slowly add some slowly oil. Slowly adding our oil as we yeah. go. Now the reason why you slowly add it is because if you add it too much at the same time, it's gonna break. Ah. And you don't want it to happen. So this is like of... chemistry. It's like real chemistry here. Yeah. We're just whisking, we're making you guys our very own vinaigrette dressing for mm -hmm, our salad. Mm -hmm. And in this bowl, all we did was we put some red wine vinegar, mm -hmm. um, a little bit of Dijon mustard, some the sugar. sugar. For, the sugar is the balance to cut the, um, uh, to realistically cut the, the tartness. And we're just now topping it off with some uh, olive oil. Olive oil. Yes. And he's meticulously and strategically adding the oil because as he says, for consistency and just to make sure mm -hmm. that it doesn't emulsify. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I got that right. Yeah, multiply. Whistle it faster, What? Keep on. Oh, faster? Yes, ma'am. Okay, the gym is coming mm -hmm. in handy here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good arm um, workout, you guys, all right? So, you guys, um, I'm gonna keep whisking our homemade vinaigrette. Yes, our our grouper is filleting, our eggs are boiling, our potatoes are roasting. This is Chef it Up. We'll be right back. All right, everyone, welcome back to Chef It Up. Our dish is just about done. And as you know, we're making a grouper filet with a niswa. Niswa. Niswa salad. And that's a salad that he explained cannot, cannot yeah, go sure. with, you know, serve with lettuce. So, yeah. all right, what are we doing next? All right, right now, see, I got my fish almost ready. We're about to start putting everything together. Like okay. I said before, once you have the mise en place ready, you can just shoot for gold. All right, perfect. So what I'm gonna need you to do right now is just crack those eggs for me. They are done. Yes, these were the eggs, eggs that nice we boiled butter. a little earlier. So. Exactly. So just crack them and unshell them. While you're doing right. that, I'm gonna get many with I will mean. So now, even though the niswa salad doesn't have to go with lettuce, we're using yeah, we're some using fresh eggs. romaine today. I'm using some fresh romaine. I'm also gonna put some spinach in it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I love spinach. Spinach is awesome. This is awesome. And just to remind you guys, we also still have our potatoes going. Remember, he said that they mm -hmm, take a little mm -hmm. while to little roast while. down and get soft and tender, so they're still going um, over there. And exactly. we haven't yet blanched our veggies, but yes, veggies will take thirty seconds. That, was, that won't be done. Yeah, yeah that would be great. Now see how we cut the romaine. First, I cut the top off. Then I slit this in half, turn to the side, in half. Hold on, wait. So we don't use the top? <laughs> I don't like to use the top. Okay. I don't like to use the top. Now. For that mix right there, you know, you're having like a Caesar salad, you want to know how everything getting cut so such a certain way? Yeah. Pretty much right there. So I'm going to okay. cut this down about an inch to a half inch. And this is going to be our salad right here. For me, lettuce are good. Yeah, they're awesome. That's All good. right. Put a little bit of that in here. Okay, I'm going to get our plate sorted out right here. All right. right. Here for you. Now, remember the veg we cut up earlier? Yeah. Cut that for me, please. I'm going to get a little bit of green beans or high cover. So remember you guys, we put our cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, mm -hmm. our radish mm -hmm. and our mm -hmm. olives. We chopped them up a little earlier and put them in the fridge just to chill out for a while. Just chill out for a while until we're ready for So now we're adding them to our I'm bowl of romaine. Yes, ma'am. Our romaine and our spinach. Spinach. Exactly. And some green beans. Yes. And some green beans now, are in there as well. A little for a second, please. Sure. Our homemade vinaigrette, you guys, exactly. remember we no. made that with some red wine vinegar, mm -hmm. so some Dijon mustard, so, uh -huh. we put sugar in there. Yes. I recommend honey. Honey, he recommends recommend honey, honey, but we use sugar we use today. Sugar. And also, um, I saw you squeeze a little bit of lemon. Lemon, yeah. Just a, a little bit of lemon and some olive oil. Yes, yeah, just to cut some tart. Yeah, so oh, we are dressing. Now, what you can do for me. Back in the fridge? No, give me a mix. Uh, no, I can't mix. Oh, with my hands. Oh, I thought you meant to do like the. I thought you meant to do like the chef's toss. Oh no no no, the, the flip. No, we don't. Oh do okay okay okay. No, no, Just no. hand toss. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, well, I, I could do, do that. Doing a little hand toss. I'm protective. Well, I could do that. Oh, there you go. You do we sprinkle it. a little salt and pepper in this or? No no no. All the all the flavor and everything is okay. Okay. Right See, I like salt and pepper on everything. Yes. <laughs> but not today, he says. That's perfect. Now all we're gonna do now is mount right here. 
you mount. Yes, yeah, I'm going to do that right now. Now, what my chef used to always beat into my head has three ways of making a salad. You got the base, you got the middle part, and you got the top and the dressing. You always make a base for us. So this is our base? Yeah, this is our base. You want to, because when you, when, you, when you put the salad in, you don't want to just flop on the other side. Okay. So you make a base for us, and then once you got that, you could just go from there. Now, what I would love to use with this too would have been some um, mixed greens. Okay, and for the purples and all that stuff. Yeah, all but the purples and the That's and fine, I, I could do with the green. Yeah, <laughs> I, I use it because I, I actually prefer the still mayonnaise crunch and everything. Okay. So you guys, he's just mounting our salad. Just mounting the salad, making it nice and tall and, you know. And of course, feel free to, you know, make your plate however you feel comfortable, you know. You as pretty or as ugly as you want, so I'll go in one exactly. place. <laughs> but chefs, you know, they like, they're yeah, all about presentation, like and so no. they take a lot of time mounting and fixing mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. plating, and, you know, I can appreciate that. Egg, great. Remember, this is going to be garnish? Yeah, we're going to be gratering, yeah. grating the egg over. Okay, interesting. It looks like cheese. Yeah, it does. Yeah, but the yellow coming egg. in. Uh, there we go. Well, this is interesting. My perfect hard boiled egg that I could have used for a deviled egg. You could have even, no, no, this is more important than deviled egg. <laughs> All right, now we have that. Well, that's great. So, that's of course, nice. guys, this is our. That's a niswa. Our niswa salad. It's not, my, my, like I explained before, it's not a traditional niswa salad because you also have some tuna on this. You could have some. So, the tuna would usually go on top yes. or. Tuna, yeah, it all depends on the chef. The tuna could go on top or tuna could go actually on in, inside. Inside the salad. Yes, it all depends okay. on who wants to do what. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. All right, so our niswa salad sits here mm -hmm. as we're yeah, you waiting. Can, you can eat away with that. No, I'm no, gonna... I want to, you know, I like everything one time. Oh, you want everything one time? <laughs> so, I'm going to wait for the fish. Okay. Perfect. So, so right now, yeah, what we did also, I, I shot the fish in for like a, a minute. Yeah, so we fried them down a little bit, but then he put them inside the oven just for a minute yes. or so, like he said, and just potatoes. to kind of finish it all off. Yes, my and our right. potatoes, nice color that took nice. the longest time, but yes. finally they're yes, done. Yes, yes, yes. Now, fish almost done. Pan is hot. Olive oil right there. So some olive oil. Yes. I'm gonna let that get some warmth. So when it's time for me to go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead. Now right. I got my veg. I know you guys can see in this pot of water just boiling from the beginning. Yes. I'm wondering why this thing is still there and he didn't use it yet. I'm gonna show you right now. I want to keep it hot. So when it's time to go, I can go. And of course, just our carrots, yes, our carrots. Uh, broccoli, and some cauliflower. cauliflower. Right. Broccoli. Okay. All right, and this is the process of blanching. Blanching, right? you said yes. It's kind of shock. Yeah, the blanching, you just wanna have it in there. All right, you guys, our niswa salad done. Our uh, group of filet is out. Our roasted potatoes are out. We're blanching down our veggies. We will be right back for the moment of truth, the taste test. <laughs> this is Chef It Up. We'll be right back. <laughs> it's time now to wrap up our dish for the day, our niswa salad and group of filet. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let, let's get this show on the road. All right. <laughs> so let's he's popping in now, now some... Snow peas. No peas and peppers. And some peppers. So we're just going to saute down our veggies. Of yeah. course, we blanch them, put them in that very, very, very hot water, string them off. Now he's prepping the pan um, with the peas yeah. and the peppers. The reason why I'm cooking these down first because these are the set I actually blanch. These right. are the set of blanch. I just blanch asparagus, the um, uh, <coughs> cauliflower, the cauliflower carrots, and the carrots, and broccoli. Exactly. They right. will take the longest. These right here? Yeah. You need some heat to it. All right. So now yeah. we're going to put in our veggies. Can you tell I'm hungry? Oh, yeah, Can you tell I'm like rushing the chef along because <laughs> there time we to eat? Go. <laughs> All yeah. right. Casualty of war, that's yeah, fine. I'm over there right now. All right. All right, let that sit, let that get some heat. Last thing I'm going to add is my potatoes. Remember how to set the oven? Okay. The reason why I add them last, they're already cooked. I just want to mix it with the veg. Oh, so we're mixing our mm -hmm. ve um, our veggies and our potatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, not bad. And for this dish, though, so we kind of almost have two sides for the fish. Pretty much, yes. This is just a scallop. Okay, so this is our appetizer. This is our appetizer. That's okay. just a scallop. Now, to be honest with you, what you could do if you just wanted this and have fish on top of it, and the fish. you can do that. All right, so should I get started on the app? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. That's my problem. All right. I wonder if I can reach across there. So let me just start um, mm -hmm. with our niswa salad then, since this is just uh, our appetizer. 
All right. I think what I really want to see is how that uh, that vinaigrette that vinaigrette came out. Oh, I'm not really much of a tomato person, so. Yeah, I remember you said that, but I'm you gonna, like ketchup, right? And I love ketchup. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave them there just for color. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some of this egg. So I love eggs. There you go. Um, all right, let's see. Light, crunchy, fresh. Mm -hmm. Tastes really good. You know what I say with the vinegar? The vinegar, I think the salt, not the salt, sorry, the sugar. Mm -hmm. The sugar and the lemon really kind of that balance everything off. Balances the, the tartness exactly, from exactly. Um, from that vinegar there that we use. No, pretty good salad though. Pretty easy to make too. Well, I made myself hungry. All right. Let me just double up on this. Might as well have a double portion of something nice. awesome. So if you can take this, yes, I can. and let me get to our main course. Oh yes, and you let me know exactly. Let me know the truth now. Let me go in for the fish first. I'm a meat gal, so I love my meats. Perfectly seasoned, not over seasoned, not overcooked. It has a great crunch on the outside. The inside is real tender. Okay, okay, but all right. Like, you know when you say meat sweet? Yeah. Like meat <laughs> sweet. So that's pretty good. All right, Chef Shewell, thank you so much for an awesomely amazing dish. I think I'll be thank making you. this to take to lunch one day. Yes, you guys, this has been Chef It Up. Thank you so much. See you next time. Good. Yeah.